Yo, what's up, bringing you that on Show Show 18. So we finally did it. We finally completed this live series collection. So we have our last three teams right here. The Red Sox. We need, I think, Chris Sale and Mookie Betts. We got Mike Trout. And then the last player we got was Arenado. So we're finally done. All live series teams completed. We got every single player. And we're finally getting ourselves immortal vladimir guerrero team team no money spent you know i haven't spent a single dime on this game this year and i, I didn't do that last year either so it's, it's definitely possible we actually get a lot of stuff right here i don't really care about this stuff but we do get jeff bagwell which is a 98 diamond hardware series card and it's a pretty good looking card you know he has good contact numbers really good against left-handed uh pitchers and hopefully you know we can we can do damage with him we'll definitely be trying him out and maybe get a debut video out for him or something like that. But Jeff Bagwell is just a piece of the puzzle. And then the main one right here is Vladimir Guerrero. So, you know, it took us a while to get it done. But 107 contact versus righties, 125 versus lefties, 90 power versus righties, and 121 versus lefties. And 101 versus uh, 101 vision. So definitely a great hitting card. I'm looking forward to using them. I definitely want to try them out. Haven't, haven't gotten to use Vlad all year. So it's definitely going to be nice to try this one out. And with this card right here... After unlocking him, we got all the Immortals in the game. So we have every single Immortal in the game. We got all of these completed. We got the ones from Rank Seasons, the Sandberg, and the Kershaw. And now Vladimir Girl. So we got all Immortals, no money spent. And it feels good. You know, it feels good. We, we definitely got some good players. I'm not saying like some of these Immortals are kind of garbage, to be honest. <laughs> some of them are kind of garbage. But just to have them is, is pretty nice. So with that said, the next step, I guess... Because I got all Immortals. I got all, obviously, all these done. I guess my next step is to do some of these collector programs or the play of the month program. So what I'm looking at right here is I, I don't want to do Verlander. I don't want to do Goldschmidt. And I don't want to do Yelich because I have two finest Yelich. So I don't, I don't really need a player of the month version of him. And Verlander and Goldschmidt already have diamond cards. But I definitely want to get Didi. I think I want to get Carpenter, and I, I think we'll end up doing Peralta because I want to get Andujar, and Andujar is part of this one, I believe. So if we get him, we might as well go ahead and get the Peralta card. So I think that's the three play of the month cards that I'll end up going after with the stubs that we have. And then for the collector programs right here, I don't really know which ones I want to go after. I don't really care for Kimbrel. Stanton would be nice. I, I would go after him, but he's not, like, the top priority. Same with Reggie Jackson. Wade Davis don't really care for. Andre Dawson, I definitely want to go after him. McCovey would be nice, but I, th I think his thing is, like, really expensive for some reason. One of either McCovey or Reggie Jackson, like, the prices for him is kind of really high for some reason. So I don't know if I'll go after those guys. Jose Reyes, not really a high pr priority, but I do want to go after the Eddie Matthews card. I think this card looks pretty solid. So Eddie Matthews. And then probably Andre Dawson. I think those are the two from these collector programs that I actually want to go after. If you guys have used any of these, whether it's like ones I didn't even say I want to get. Like if you use Dawson or Matthews, let me know how they are. But if you use any of, of these other guys, Staten, Jackson, McCovey, Reyes, uh, let me know how they are. And if you guys think they're worth going after. Did I say Staten? Yeah, like l let me just know any of these guys right here if they're worth going after. Because I definitely want to try some of them out. And then same with these player of the month ones. I definitely want to get the three I mentioned. So if you guys have used any of these, once again, let me know what you guys think about them. But other than that, there's there's really not much for me to do. I could do like some of these team epics because we, we pretty much have half of them done. And like I have all the exchanges and stuff done. It's just doing... Uh, I think all of the ones I have left is pitching missions, and the pitching is <laughs> ridiculous to do. So I don't know which ones we'll end up doing out of these, but we'll definitely get some more of these done. Um, but Team Epics, they're not really a high priority. It's just for like some of the team builds that we're going to end up doing. You know, Some of these Team Epic players would be nice to use in them. But other than that, that's that. You know, We got Vladimir Guerrero. We'll definitely have a debut video for him sometime soon, and we'll see how he does for us. But... The card looks really good. It definitely looks really good. I don't know if he's like a mainstay in our lineup, but it, it depends how he performs. You know, if he performs solid for us, we have to see how the swing is and all that stuff. But, you know, if he if he performs well, we'll definitely keep him in there. But expect a debut sometime this week, I think. 
But same with like the other players. If you guys use this Vladimir Guerrero, let me know what you guys think about him. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.